That's a lot. That's a lot of seasoning. <laughs> I feel like I'm crazy. The TikTok algorithm has learned two things about me. One, that I love quick and easy meals, and two, that I love chicken recipes. So I thought it'd be fun to mix the two and recreate some of these TikTok viral videos. Now some of these TikToks don't have the best instructions. Ooh, that's a little burned. But I'm gonna try the best that I can. So the first recipe I'm making today is by Sammy Pert. Now this one has 11 million views, but there's a good reason. This is Juicy Chicken 101. I'm so excited. Patting it dry, lots of seasoning. I usually don't put that much. I probably should start doing more seasoning. Avocado oil, gonna, okay, we'll have to go buy some. I don't have any of that. Looks good, looks good. Flipping it over, mmm. Okay, she's cooking it. Okay, so make sure that you use a pan that can also go in the oven. Pulled it out, oh, let it sit. Now it's just nice and juicy. That looks so good. Okay, I'm excited, let's try it. So, what she doesn't show is that you actually need to preheat your oven right now to 400 degrees. All right, first she just patch dry all her chicken. So she's using garlic powder, some paprika, and then also some garlic salt. Now she didn't really measure anything out, she kind of just like went to town on seasoning, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've never really been much of a crazy seasoner, so I'm gonna try really hard to just season the heck out of these things. Okay, I'm just gonna flip these and we'll season the other side. Then we're just gonna do the same seasonings all over again. That's a lot, that's a lot of seasoning. <laughs> I feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> then she's doing the avocado oil, so we'll try that and we'll heat it up till it's nice and hot. Oil is nice and hot, we're just gonna put it on the chicken. Let it cook here for about five minutes. All right, now you're going to flip these over and we're gonna put it in the oven for about 13 minutes. Okay, they have all hit 165 or higher. This one took a little longer. So now, now I'm gonna pull them out. We're gonna let them rest for just a few minutes. So they're a little more crispier than I like. So I would maybe not go for the whole five minutes or just turn your temperature way down. She said medium high heat, but maybe my stove is a little hotter, but let's try and cut into this baby. All right, it's looking pretty good. That is actually really juicy. I mean, if I wouldn't have burned the one side, I think this would have been really good. Okay, my favorite thing to serve this with is a yummy salad. So we just have some romaine, avocado, tomatoes. All right, even though this burned just a little bit, we're gonna taste it. It still looks good. Mmm. Love it. Five. Five out of five on that one. That's good. Okay, the next recipe is low calorie buffalo chicken tenders. This one is by Aussie Fitness and it has 5.3 million views. Oh, that looks juicy and good. Dipping it in ranch, yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Okay, cut up a chicken breast. Oh, they're not using tenders, it's just a chicken breast. Hot, so yeah, that's gonna be hot. Mix it all up, ooh, corn flakes. Ooh, I love a good crunchy corn flake bite, mm-hmm. Nice, close it up, stick it in. Okay, so it's 200 degrees Celsius. That's close to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. Well, then you just put the sauce over top and you can also dip it in the sauce. I'm excited. Okay, <laughs> let's try it out. All right, so he only did two chicken breasts, but I have a lot of people in my family. So we are going to do four chicken breasts. And then he cut them into about five pieces each. Okay, now I'm gonna just add all the chicken into a bowl. So he just added Frank's hot sauce, hot red wing sauce on here, so we're just gonna Pour some on. Now because I doubled his chicken, we're also gonna double the amount of seasoning. So we need two teaspoons of pepper, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, and then two teaspoons of garlic salt. Okay, now he wore a glove as he mixed this. I'm guessing because of the hot sauce. If you had to cut or something, that would be painful. So I'm copying. I'm gonna use my, you know, medical grade glove here and mix my meat. So I filled a freezer bag full of cornflakes. I have no amount, we're just doing it. And then we're gonna add about three teaspoons or so of smoked paprika. Then we're just gonna crunch them all up. Then he just dumped it onto a plate to make it a lot easier to roll his chicken in. All right, he did not spray it, but I want to spray it with non-stick cooking spray just to make my life a little easier. And we're gonna take the chicken, go right into the cornflakes, cover up that baby, and then put it right onto the cookie sheet. All right, they're on a cookie sheet ready to go. We're gonna throw it in the oven for about 20 minutes, but we're actually gonna just temperature check them just because I wanna make sure that they're not burned this time. So we're going 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna check them at about 15. 
All right, so while that cools, we're gonna add a little bit of honey. He didn't really give measurements here. A little bit of hot sauce, a lot of hot sauce. Then we're just gonna mix that together really well. Then just baste it on. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna serve this with easy, fresh vegetables, so cucumbers and carrots, because those work well in ranch too. All right, let's taste it. Mm. Okay, if you like it a little bit hotter, this is amazing. And the last recipe I'm making is honey ginger chicken. This one is from Tiffy Cooks and it has 3.9 million views. And I'm excited because she says this only takes you 15 minutes, so let's see if it really does. Are you ready? Okay, chicken thighs with skin. That's kind of hard to find right now. I can't find any with skin. Looking good. She's going fast. She's going really fast. Oil. Chicken thighs, skin down first, so I won't cook it as much or as long. There we go. Make the sauce, put the chicken back in. Chicken looks really good. Oh, serve it. That was fast, but I think I can figure it out. Okay, we're gonna do salt and pepper to both sides. Okay, we're just gonna set this to the side and then we're gonna make the sauce. First, she has three tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of mirin. If you've not heard of that, that's what it is. I had to go Google it. Three tablespoons of honey. Then in my grocery order, they forgot the fresh ginger. So I, thankfully I have this like, you know, squeezable kind. So we're gonna do a tablespoon of fresh ginger. And then she minced fresh garlic. I'm gonna use the can and make it even easier on myself. Then you're just gonna mix it all together. Okay, so we're going to medium high heat and we're gonna add some olive oil to cook our chicken in. Okay, once the oil is nice and hot, we're gonna just add on our chicken. Now, she does skin side down, but I asked for chicken thighs and they gave me like sliced up chicken breast. So we're gonna try it with chicken breast today and hope for the best. Now in her recipe, she had broccoli on the side, so I thought, you know what, I can do that too. So I'm gonna stick, cut up some broccoli and then I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it, a little bit of garlic salt. We're gonna mix this all together and roast it while the chicken is cooking. We're gonna cook this at 400 degrees for just a few minutes and then we'll check on it. Okay, after a few minutes, we're just gonna flip it because we don't want burned chicken. All right, chicken is good. We're gonna pull it off to set it aside. Okay, we're gonna keep it at medium high heat and just slowly add in our sauce. So this is gonna simmer for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna put our chicken right back in. And then she just kept the sauce and just started like putting it onto the chicken. I probably get a smaller spoon. There we go. All right, chicken is done. I roasted the broccoli for about five minutes. That's done. Then in one of my old videos, I love to freeze rice. I freeze a ton of it. And so I'm just gonna microwave this rice so we're ready to go. Okay, let's give it a taste. That one was good. I'm also giving this one five out of five. I must say, all these chicken recipes were amazing. There is a reason why they are viral. All right guys, if you want more viral TikTok videos that I've recreated, you can find them right up there. All right guys, see you later.